Welcome to Mind Your Money with the Bro County. So today, we're just going to take a look at like SARS experience, GPF, and um, extra classes money, you know. Let's talk about that. So if you have any questions um, based on my story right now, you can ask me on the comment section and I will reply. Anyway, we're taking a look at SARS first. Let's start with SARS. SARS in January 2024 charged me 3,264 3, rands and 74 cents. And then in uh, in February, they charged me 2,999 rands and 30 cents. And then in March, they charged me 3,944 rands and 66 cents. Now, I haven't, and I have no problem with paying um, taxes. I don't have a problem with it. I also don't have a problem with the government using it to fund and feed people and do all that stuff. Uh, I have a problem with them stealing the money. But at the same time, um, I'm okay with paying taxes. Now, my major problem with SARS is that I can't budget for SARS. I never ever know what I'm going to pay. It's 2,900 this month, 3,200 that month, 3,900 that month. It's just, it's too staggering for me. It's too up and down, you know. There's no, you know, I'll... it kind of annoys me because I try to live on a budget and I try to allocate my money. So if I don't know how much SARS is going to take, I, I don't know how much I'm going to get as my net pay because it affects my net pay. Anyway. I've tried to research why they do that. I just don't understand it. So another thing is um, GPF. I've been trying for a while now to register on the GPF app and it's just not working. Has anybody ever used it? And does it ever work at all? Is there like a timeline on when we should wait before we try to register, try to get into the app? What's going on over there? That's frustrating me now because I want to see and keep track of my pension. It's a very long-term goal and I want to know what's going on. Then we have um, extra classes. So I'm doing a camp. I'm working in the camp um, for high schoolers. And I'm going to get about 8,000 in total, I think. And I'm confused. Like, do I put this money into the emergency fund or do I um, pay for my family debt towards that? But I'm thinking, I'm, 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 I'm inclined to put it in the emergency fund because I want that to be over with so I can move on to the next step. Also, I don't consider uh, my family debt my debt. Therefore, I... I'm not rushing to finish it. I'm just throwing money here and there, here and there, here and there. Maybe um, I'm, I'm, I'll stick to the monthly payments. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's just all, you know. Let's just mind our money. This is not financial advice and it's never going to be financial advice. I have no plans of being a financial advisor. But if I were to give you any advice, I would say try the baby steps and see what happens. You can quit at any time. Bye.